Welcome to the cockpit of Lockheed Martin's F-21 cockpit demonstrator. This is the airplane that Lockheed Martin is offering for the Indian Air Force fighter competition. I'd like to talk a little bit about what makes an F-21 an F-21. So there's some structural differences that you cannot see from the cockpit demonstrator. There's a dorsal spine on the aircraft to house electronic countermeasures and communication and data link equipment. There is an infrared search and track that is mounted on the left chin of the intake of the airplane. Uh, triple rail launcher adapter, uh, it enables an F-21 to carry a 10 by missile loadout. You can see the large air display there uh, has its genes from some of our other fighter programs. We have incorporated those things into the cockpit of the F-21. This is a touchscreen display. I can manage this either via touch or via the HOTAS, the hands-on throttle and stick. And as we fly around, uh, you'll see the management of inside the cockpit is very, very simple. Only requires one pilot. The airplane is very, very easy to fly. So let's talk about this. This is my radar display. The airplane has an active electronically scanned array radar. Um, it has orders of magnitude better performance than a legacy mechanically scanned radar. It enables me to do multiple operations all at the same time, so I can do air to air, air to ground, and jamming all at the same time. This right side of my display, I've got it configured for what we call a horizontal situation display. This is a God's eye view of the battle space above me. These are some pre-programmed threats. Things on these displays, red indicates hostiles, yellows are suspect, whites are unknowns, blues and greens are, are friendly aircraft. And if you look at this, I can mix and match and change the size of the display. So we'll just take this particular display. I can make that big across the screen. So if there was something in particular I wanted to zoom in at, whether it was my air picture or a synthetic aperture radar map or a targeting pod picture or I wanted to pick out minute details, I could do that. I also have the ability to change this from three displays to four displays. So now I have four that I can manage. There is a method via the hands-on throttle and stick that I can pick and choose which ones of these I want to manage at any given time. So as you can see, I'm not spending a whole lot of time and a whole lot of effort uh, managing flying the airplane. The airplane pretty much uh, is very, very stable. It doesn't require any trimming. The tr airplane trims itself to 1G all by itself. I, re I set up one of my displays. This is called a vertical situation display. Anything above this line is above me, beneath the line is beneath me. So like I said, uh, the F-21, very, very simple for a pilot to, to manage. It's a very, very user-friendly airplane. Uh, it will be a tremendous asset to the Indian Air Force, uh, and Lockheed Martin and our teammates are ready to support uh, the Indian Air Force and the Indian government uh, should they decide that the F-21 is, they want to be part of their inventory. All F-21s are enabled with a system called Automatic Ground Collision Avoidance. And before I demonstrate the system, let me describe what it is. If you look out in, this, in the space that I'm flying over right now, you can see there's mountains and flat terrain. Uh, the airplane has a digital database of the area in which I'm flying in. And let's say for whatever reason, um, I get distracted in the cockpit or I'm flying around in the weather. This will work in any weather. Let's say that I get distracted and for some reason a cockpit task has me uh, in a position where I'm got my head down and I'm not paying attention uh, to what the airplane's doing, whether I'm spatially disoriented or I'm just simply not paying attention. The airplane knows where it is, it knows what the dive angle, the airspeed, the descent rate of the airplane, as you can see, the airplane is doing its recovery all by itself. Uh, the United States Air Force started in, uh, installing that particular system on their air fleet. And since we've done that, we've had uh, eight pilot saves. So the system in and of itself has saving lives and saving airplanes, and it's part of the F-21 baseline. 